If you want a small power supply that can fit into your small form factor PC, Pico PSU would be one of the best alternative for your PC build. It's not only a very silent power supply since it has no moving parts such as fans that are usually common in bigger form factor power supply. The dimensions of this power supply is about 5.5 cm in length, 3.5 cm in height, and about 1.5 cm wide, which is incredibly small for a PSU. Plus, it is very lightweight and perfect for anyone that is building a small and light PC build. Pico PSU has relatively wide range of power voltage that rated between 80 w to 160 w Although there are some Pico PSU that claim to have 400 watts or more, but the reliability is questionable. If you want a bigger power, I suggest getting a bigger PSU such as HD Flex or One U Flex or even SFX power supply, as they are more reliable for providing consistent power at higher wattage. Pico PSU is recommended for a low power PC build. However, it's wise to check your power consumption before getting the power supply you need. You can check your expected power consumption in PC Part Pico website. There are only few cables available in the PSU. First, we have the CPU pin connector. Usually, the power supply has 4 pin, but you probably need 4 pin to 8 pin converter depending on your motherboard. Then, you have the peripheral cable for Molex and SATA connector. We also have the circular pin which will be connected to an external power brick. Lastly, we have the 24 pin connector which is going to be connected directly to the motherboard. To power up the Pico PSU, you need an external power brick. Since the Pico PSU is rated at 12 volt and usually at 12.5 amp, you need to have an external power brick that matches with the Pico PSU rating. So, your power brick must at least have an output of 12 volt and 12.5 amp to power up your build. To install the Pico PSU, simply just plug the 24 pin to your motherboard as usual and connect CPU pin to the CPU header. If you have an SSD drive, you can connect them through the SATA cable. Then, connect the circular pin to the power brick. Make sure the power brick pin compatible with the circular pin of the PSU. The temperature is relatively cool providing it does not produce too much power, so you don't have to worry about the temp. However, it's still recommended to have some PC fans to have a good airflow inside your case. If you want to build a small form factor PC build, this Pico PSU is great to reduce space and have less cable. So let me know what you think about this Pico PSU and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for more video. Thank you and see you around.